This is a uh, pretty nifty invention. It does a real good job at uh, trapping mice. They uh, fall through the little teeter-totter thing here. If I can get it off. See this little gizmo here? It teeter-totters. these depending on how many mice you got see we don't have any down there today <clears throat> using this bucket set up this way probably maybe a dozen mice a year if that um, I got rid of the black little plastic thing for the mice to walk up on here I should have put this on a little bit better of an angle because it was right in the way of this handle but it still moves you'll notice the peanut butter is here this is about three-eighths of an inch about the thickness of your pinky there's two one-eighth diameter holes in that and what happens is I load the peanut butter in there it's probably about a teaspoon in there there's two eighth inch holes in this it's where to the thing if you got a cat or pets or uh, sometimes if you have it in an area where there's a lot of mice um, that could get knocked over, which it did. Not on this particular one, but uh, basically, this is in use where there's probably less than a dozen mice a year. Every now and then you catch one, that's just the way it is. This platform that it's sitting on uh, goes to uh, pretty much 30 inches off the ground, so it sits under here. But what happens is when you, the instructions say that you should put the, uh, I have a little on it that was on the back of my finger when I wiped it on there, to put it on the inside of this top housing. And if you've got a lot of mice, uh, we had somebody set up in uh, one of the rental properties, the garage. People don't keep their garbage managed. They have food scraps, you know, that the, the garbage cans aren't clean, the, uh, uh, the cans and the bottles and things, empty jelly jars, rather than rinsing them out, they just throw them away, you know, with the stuff still on the inside. That's all invitation for, you know, for mice to come in. When you put the peanut butter here, this is an empty part of a bottom of an old vitamin bottle. It's just wired to the other side, I don't know if you can see that or not. What happens is the mice will smell that. You can see the water down here. So the distance between the water and the top of the bucket, this whole area will smell like uh, peanut butter, and that will attract the mice. The mice will come up the little ramp, go on the teeter-totter, and fall in without having to put the peanut butter all over the top of that thing. Even if you have a situation like a chicken coop or a, an area where you have a, a lot of mice, they will eat through the top of this plastic thing. They will eat through the top of that to get at the peanut butter underneath. Um, they're not dumb when they have 20 of their buddies laying in the water underneath there. Um, they sense that. And they will end up first. These are about 25, 30 bucks or something by the time you pay shipping and handling on them. So when that top piece gets eaten through, it kind of renders this thing semi-useless and the only way you're going to be able to tell how many mice you catch or don't catch is if you have a uh, motion sensor camera set up um, thing of it is is um, this is pretty effective um, it works uh, I don't know what else to tell you other than this is a kind of a hack to um, catch the mice without destroying the top part of the uh, of the flipper thing and um, the only thing is I would say put these things here at about the one o'clock and five o'clock position so that you can uh, still make the flapper thing work and the only thing this one here should have been done is probably this 
should have been outside the handle here because it makes it a little bit difficult <clears throat> to do that. We put together probably a dozen of these things and this was probably one of the first ones uh, that we did. And if you don't check them every day, every couple of days, especially in places where you have a lot of mice, and by a lot of mice you'll know by setting this thing up the first couple of days there'll be a lot of mice you know, in and around the thing. Uh, also, just to, to give you a quick thing here, this is a just an ordinary box we had laying around. And what I did is I cut a couple of uh, holes in both sides. And this keeps the kids away, keeps the pets away. You're not going to catch all of them inside this thing here. Some mice just won't go in it. But here I want to show you this. There's this piece of string hanging on there. What I did is I cut the string about from the distance of my little finger to my thumb. You slide it through this little thing here. You gotta bend that over with a pair of pliers. And then when you actually set this thing with the peanut butter, I have a separate little peanut butter jar that I use. Um, I put about two tablespoons of peanut butter in it. This is just uh, store brand whatever. And then on top of that, I add two tablespoons of cooking oil, whatever you have laying around, the olive oil or canola oil or something. And then make sure that this piece of string is well soaked with that oil-based peanut butter. After that, it's okay if you make a mess on here, it won't matter. Um, then go ahead and put a little glob of peanut butter without the uh, oil on it. And this will last probably for three or four months easy. And if there is a mouse running around, um, we put it in that box, set this trap up, put the box down in the corner someplace, and you'll catch them. When when they get caught, we just throw the, I just throw the traps away. And if you've got a lot of mice, probably not going to be beneficial for you to do that. But this is kind of a hack uh, to keep the mouse from getting the bait and not snapping the trap. The also uh, other advantage of doing it this way, it's kind of a pain in the neck. If I mean, I buy 10 or 12 at a time, and I'll sit there in one afternoon or in an evening sometime and just string them up. They last all year for me. I've set others, uh, traps up for other people, so sometimes I'll, I'll do 20 in a month or something, you know. Um, the other thing that's an advan advantage to that is this little, I don't know if you can see that or not, that little trigger mechanism. You never have to hair trigger it. You just stick it in there and then you can kind of toss it in the box. But without the string, sometimes you kind of have to mess with it and be real gentle with it. You don't have to do that with the string technique. It takes a little bit extra time. Um, that string again is about the distance between here and here. I don't know, whatever that is, eight, nine inches. If you've got good fingers, I use a pair of wire cutters to tie that little knot. Knot usually works pretty good if you make it about the size of a dime. Uh, if there's other um, little stringy things hanging off the end, you can even use the tails on them and let them kind of hang there if it's not too long. But it kind of has to look right or something. But once that mouse grabs onto that string, that's all she wrote. So I uh, hope this helps. Have a good day.